How do I edit the header of my Premium Press website? Well, let me show you how. In front of me, we have one of the Premium Press themes. This is the dating theme, but this video can be used for all of the Premium Press themes. The setup and the concept is the same. So you can see on my homepage, we have this header bar at the top. How do I edit this? How do I change it, etc., etc. So the first thing we do is log into the admin area. Okay, on design, we can click on Premium Press. Okay, I personally like to use the site manager first, so I click on site manager. Okay, this is the way, place where you should be for editing pages. If we scroll to the bottom, it shows us the current header and footer design. So these links here are basically quick links to where to edit the header and footer of your website. And again, this will take you to the selection where you can select all of the different designs for your headers. And as you can see, we have absolutely loads. So there's lots of different designs to choose from. To get to this page from Dashboard, let me just show you another shortcut. Again, from the uh, overview of WordPress, we're going to click on Premium Press. Okay, we click on Design. Okay, we have our, our current page, and this obviously will be different depending on your design. And as you hover over it, you can see we have header and footer options. So we're going to click on header, and it's the same page. Basically, you can select your default layout. So as you can see, this is the current one active. Okay, let's open two windows just to compare them. Okay, there is a an option just to click on click on and preview it. So I can click on the actual icon and you can see at the top I can get a preview of what it looks like. So I might want to preview this one. Okay. Let's try this one. There's there's absolutely loads, so take your time and go through them. And all of them use the same block system to modify, but obviously the designs are slightly different. So let's say for example this one. I quite like this one. Style of 115. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and activate this one. So I simply click select. Okay, we can see that the change has gone down. Just to verify, this now has the active element on it. If I go to my website and give it a refresh, okay, you can see the header of my website has now been updated with the new design. So that's how to use the default option. So if I wanted to change my header, that is where I would start. If I wanted to modify this in Elementor, which means I want to create my own header, very similar concept, we use the Elementor button here. Okay, and we choose a design. Now, if we do not have a design that we've wanted, we've created already, we can create a new new design based on our existing header. So I would just simply click on edit. It's going to load my current design into Elementor. Okay, so this is the current design, and then I'm going to have the options to change it, so I can click on it, and there's lots of new options on the left-hand side. Now, this really is like the Swiss Army life of headers, because there's so many different options, so take your time to go through it. We have things like uh, the top, which refers to this top element at the top. Okay, we just use a custom color, just to give you an idea, so let's make it a bright green. Okay, so this is the bright green at the top. The middle section refers to this black section. I'll make this one bright blue just to give you an overview where it is. Okay, and the bottom obviously doesn't need any, any explaining. Let's just this one bright pink. So obviously this is an, a terrible looking header, but it just gives you some visual indicators of which um, section refers to it. So we have the top, the middle, and the bottom. Okay, some of the menu bars, for example, we have buttons. Um, we have buttons that are displayed when you're logged in and when you're logged out. So for example, you might want a login and register button for people that are not logged in. And if you're logged in, you might want a button that says my account, something like that. So that's what this section is for. And we have featured boxes, which are only applied to certain headers. So don't worry about that if it's not part of the design. Now this uses the default layout and options within your um, your website and your premium press team. So for example, this is the design we've created that you can use for your website. If you want to create your own header, that's completely fine. And obviously all of the designs, etc., you can modify. So let's go ahead and delete this. Let's just say, for example, I wanted to add um, my own header. I'm just gonna add some text as an example. So let's say, let's not use this one. Let's just drag some text in. So my own header, okay. Okay, update this. Let's go to my website, give it a refresh. Okay, and you can see now my own header will be loaded instead of the premium press one. So basically it gives you the freedom to customize and create your own headers for your website. And it's the same concept with the footer as well. Now let's say for example, you want to add in um, a new header again. So I've deleted it, I'm like, oh, how do I get the header back? Well, you just use this premium press P button here. Okay, you find the headers. And it's the same section that you can just click on any of the design. Let's go ahead and add this one back in. Okay, and now we have a nice header at the top here. Make sure you update always and then just give it a refresh. 
Okay, so there we go, our header is back. Now what's happened here is that you've set a elemental header or an elemental template to be part of your header. If you've made a mess and you just want to use the default one, then make sure you go back to your design sections here. Okay, we go back to headers. Okay, and we turn this off. So we simply click on the um, header section here and we select the default design and we click save changes. And this will then reset the page to use the default layout and setup options for my um, premium press layout. Give it a refresh. Okay, so this is the default layout options for that actual template. So you have two options. You can use the default one within the theme or you can customize the default one using Elementor. It's completely up to you. So there we go, a very quick video tutorial. How do I customize the header for my website? Well, you do it in the admin area. You can do it under the site manager or the design setup and then click on headers. If you found this video tutorial useful, please give it a thumbs up and I'll keep creating content just like this one. Thank you and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.